My name is Lorenzo Loya, Jr. I was born in San Elisario, Texas in 1936, October 1836. And what was growing up life like? Well, it's a, San, San Elisario was a, it's a, a small town, so uh, we knew everybody when we went to uh, go to church, you know, uh, 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 friends and neighbors. And uh, of course, we would see him at the uh, 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 church functions, and uh, it was a quiet town. Now it's uh, too noisy and too too uh, too busy. Did you enlist or were you drafted? No, I, I enlisted. I uh, I was going to school, and uh, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I wasn't doing very good in school, so I was going to be a senior. And I said, no, I don't think I can cut it. So I, went, I, I joined the, uh, the Army. Uh, I, I uh, enlisted and uh, served for uh, three years. And uh, I, was stationed in, I was stationed here in Fort Bliss. Did my first six months, my, my first th two months in Fort Bliss. Then I was shipped to uh, Washington, D.C. And uh, I was there for the rest of my, my tour. Um, I was able to uh, make step sergeant in three years, which was, I think was great. I uh, was a member of the uh, rifle team. I'm an expert with my uh, M1 uh, rifle and uh, went to NCO Leadership School. It was a very uh, 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 good experience for me. So how old were you when you enlisted? I was 17 years old when I enlisted. Where were you when you enlisted? I was in El Paso. I was going to Slade High School, and uh, and uh, uh, after uh, I left the army, uh, I was discharged. I completed my high school uh, went through the G GD, uh, uh, and then I went to uh, uh, UTEP. I had 48 hours of uh, of uh, credit, uh, and um, and then I worked. With the civil service, I was I was worked for for Brace for 32 years. I retired in uh, 1993, and uh, uh, I'm still hanging in there. <laughs> so, how many years of service was that? 32, 32 years of of uh, civilian civilian service, and three years of military service. So when you first enlisted, what did training look like? What was it like to transition into military life? Well, uh, uh, I had no problems. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I was in. I was close to home, so uh, it uh, went well for the first two months because I was close to home. I went through first uh, uh, my first uh, basic training, and then to uh, uh, school for the uh, uh, tour for the. Uh, a career that I chose uh, in the military, and uh, well, well, then uh, everything just uh, came about. So you said you you served in Washington D.C. Yes, yes, yes. And how how long was that? Uh, I was there for twenty seven months. When did you arrive in Washington? Uh, I arrived there in uh, I enlisted in nineteen fifty four uh, September. I went to Washington D.C. about 19. No, that in December of the same year. And what uh, I forgot to ask: What branch were you enlisted in? I was a uh, member of the 601st Triple A Gun Battalion, Triple A Gun Battalion in uh, Washington D.C. We that's army. Army, yes, yes, uh, U.S. Army, and uh, we we were. Uh, uh, close to Washington D.C. area, and of course we were responsible for uh, uh, to keep guard. You know, to uh, for the, uh, that was our main purpose. You know, to uh, to uh, uh, be a part of the uh, in case anything came about. You know, so uh, I was, like I said, uh, it was a good tour, man. Mm. Can you describe for me what was a what were your duties? What was a, a normal day like? Well, uh, 
KP, <laughs> guard duty. Uh, I was, uh, uh, I don't want to brag, but uh, I was very sharp. You know, uh, I was very, uh, um, I used to stand guard duty and uh, uh, there was always uh, six people, seven people uh, um, that would uh, be for guard duty. And uh, I was, uh, we were uh, inspected by the uh, commanding officer uh, before we went in, into, into guard duty. And uh, I was always chosen as the uh, supernumeral so that uh, uh, I was able to, I didn't have to stand guard. I, mean, I was there just so that uh, uh, in case somebody, uh, got some, of the, some of the other six couldn't do guard, that I was, I would, then I would take their place. But uh, um, I did very good in service. What are some lessons that you feel like you learned through your military service? Respect for, my, for the American flag. Um, I, uh, I look at this uh, new generation and they have no respect for the, for the, for the flag of the United States and, and it bothers me, okay? Uh, I'm a gung ho uh, army guy. Did your service uh relate to Korea at all? No, it did not. No, it did not. So you were in Washington, D.C. for a little over two years. Yes. And then did you come, where did you go after that? I came back to El Paso and, and uh, went, went to work. Uh, and uh, I went over radio, went to school first, and uh, went to uh, finish my, my uh, high school to the GI Bill. Uh, went to uh, UTEP and uh, community college and through the GI Bill. And uh, then I got married. And what have you done since? Well, uh, I'm a jack of all trades. Uh, uh, but uh, I, uh, in four days, I worked there for, as, as an uh, illustrator. Uh, we, I, we did the army manuals for the, for the service people. Do you have any like words of wisdom or a message that you would like to leave for younger generations? Well, all I can say is that uh, uh, if you get an opportunity to join a branch of service, uh, I think um, we should do that for the simple reason that I think we have a duty to protect our country.